morning, everyone. I am Faye Marie Teralba. And I am Janine Fabe. Join, Join us as we celebrate women who tell our stories. So, ma'am. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. You look really good today. Uh, so do you. You look good with your dress. Thank you. So, ma'am, I would like to ask you, how are you feeling today? Well, with the episode that we're having today, I can say, uh, no cap, I can <gasps> say that I'm feeling quite empowered. Especially sitting with you, huh? hosting yeah. today's episode with yes. you. Yes. So, I can vibe with you on that, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, feeling empowered. So for today's episode, it will just be a chikahan session with us and you, Sunshines. Yes, that I agree on. So, Sunshines, if you are watching there with your morning coffees or your teas or even breakfast, just sit back, relax, and make tambay with us here online with our On the Sunny Side guests later. Yes, so miss, I would like to ask you, mm -hmm. what makes you feel empowered? What makes me feel empowered? You know, that's a, that's a question that um, I've been I've been thinking about since last night. <laughs> Actually, what what some what's something that makes me feel empowered is honoring my self worth every day. It's something that I learned from the past. Chismis. Pero yes, it's something that I learned from the past because you know, women in this day and age, kanang tend to forget our self-worth now we just kind of accept what we think we deserve when yeah. in fact we deserve so so much more so ganern. so the bare minimum yeah exactly mm -hmm. Ganang, accepting just the bare minimum and then feeling so super grateful when it's yeah. just the bare minimum and yeah. it's it should be normal and yeah yeah how about you how do you keep yourself empowered you know being in college and all that as a busy girl a busy girl yeah Actually, mom, it's kind of <clears throat> hard sometimes because, mm -hmm. you know, it's college and I'm still in the process of growing up and really getting to know personal development, kumbaga. And to keep myself feeling empowered despite the odds, I like to take time to myself to really validate myself and tell, tell myself that I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to have some setbacks. Now you're enough, you're okay, yes, something you know, like that. So self-affirmation, basically. Yes. Okay, and so uh, let's ask our sunshines about how they feel empowered or if they see someone as an empowered person. Yes. So comment down the names of the person that you see empowered. Yes, so I would, we actually would yeah. really love to hear about your inspirations and motivations when it comes to empowerment. I myself, actually, mom, I would like to make Chica. Mm -hmm. I have someone who makes me feel empowered because she sets the standard for me. And that's my aunt. Mm -hmm. Like, without her, I wouldn't be who I am today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, how about you, mom? Well, for me, um, I see my mother as the... As an empowered woman, yes. of course. Because, you know, mothers do something that no other person on earth can do. Yeah. Like, yeah, being a mother is tough. Mm -hmm. Especially if the children are... Or so yeah, my mom. She is a source of my strength, my happiness, my all char. So again, you guys, just comment down below mm -hmm. who do you see as someone empowered mm -hmm. or who inspires you when it regard when regarding to empowerment. And state why. Yeah, state why, why they see that person as an empowered person. Oh yes. Actually, mom. Not a surprise at the mga sunshines today. Mm -hmm. So whoever comments down below, you will have a chance to win a prize. Our prize will be sent through GCash and someone from the sunny side. Sunny or the Stratcom office, yes. Yes, we'll be messaging you that you can claim your prize here. Okay. And now it's March and yes. we're ending and March is Women's Month. Today so is March 29th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you didn't know, March is Women's History Month. And for today's episode, our theme celebrating women who tell our stories. This episode will feature women from all walks of life who had been empowered to go beyond stereotypes and battle the barriers and biases that comes with it. Very many jud ang mga stereotypes regarding women. Yeah. You yeah. know, like you should dress this way, you should behave talk this, this way, way. Yes. you should act this way because yes. you're a woman. Well, actually, I would like to tell you about someone who is empowering. She was able to break the barriers created by society. Have you heard of Melchora Aquino de Ramos? She's otherwise known as Tandang Sora. 
Okay, she was the grand woman of the revolution. In her native town, Tandang Sora operated a store which became a refuge for the sick and wounded revolutionaries. She fed, gave medical attention to, and encouraged the revolutionaries with motherly advice and prayers. Secret meetings of the Katipuneros or the revolutionaries were also held at her house in August 1896. Thus, she earned the Grand Woman of the Revolution. Pop. Mm -mm. Grand Woman of the Revolution. Imagine having that title. Grabe mo. I can't imagine myself, mom. Like, during that time and then having the <clears throat> capacity to be able to do that despite everything that's going on, you know? Like, if you think right now women are going through a lot of stereotypes, how mm -hmm. much more then, diba? Yeah, tama. I mean, now, now, people are uh, more aware naman. Yeah. So, more socially aware and people know better. Yes. Compared to there's growth. So yeah, there's compared growth. to now. Okay. It's not easy, Jude, for people to go against what society tells us to do or even who we should be. As a woman, we are expected a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And it is admirable that you can go against that and just be who you want to be. Yes. Indeed, and so it's important to acknowledge the accomplishments of women who set an example for us and continue fighting for the development of society and their efforts to create a better world for future generations of women. So, we will be playing a video about what mom made Chica earlier. So, if you have your coffee or you have your breakfast with you, just sit back and relax and enjoy this video. I am Janine Suazo, a grade 12 student, and I am a Girl Scout. I am Claudine Adrales, and I am a teacher. Um, I would define a woman in the 21st century as a woman of substance, a woman of power, a woman of positive influence, and a woman of meaning. Um, in this way, um, I can really see how Women nowadays is really powerful. Unlike before, that women are tend to degrade in in which that um, people tend to see women as weak. People tend to see women that has no power and is not a leader. But now that we are in the 21st century, a woman is really um, a leader. A woman is very influential. Um, um, for example, um, I am a chairperson in the Girl Scout. I am also a girl representative in the Girl Scouts of the Philippines Agusan Council. And I would really define myself as a woman of substance since I tend to uh, let the people see how a woman can lead and that I don't need a man in my life. A 21st century woman, I think, is someone who sees herself beyond the traditional gender expectations and someone who can decide herself and for herself. At the same time, a 21st century woman for me is someone who can um, initiate creative pursuits at the same time, um, can lead communities in an ever-changing environment. Well, I believe that the most significant barrier that holds women back is how people tend to see men as superior and women as not superior. We know naman that um, people really see men as strong, they really see men as a leader type. However, that because of that stereotype, women tend to hold their power back, tend to hold their leadership back because of what people think. But I do believe that as women, we should learn how to stand up and speak out for ourselves. Um, as a modern woman, I do think that we are given uh, equal opportunities as men when it comes to education, when it comes to jobs. But I think what hinders women from doing more is the fear of being judged uh, as um, overly successful or maybe too independent. And 
I think as a woman, we shouldn't have that kind of mindset. I think that we can do what we want and what we have to do, uh, and that goes beyond gender expectations. To really voice out, voice out for the people who cannot speak out, um, voice out for women in general that who cannot speak out. Um, not all women can speak out. That is why I am here, standing in front of you, speaking out for the women out there that you should always um, get out of your shells and speak out for who you are and who you want to be. Since we are now in the 21st century and we really need to stand up for ourselves because we are women and there goes the saying that Babae kami at hindi babae lang. We have to have a stronger sense of identity and we shouldn't be fearful of how society perceives our uh, how society perceives our success. My advice for people or for women who want to do more and beyond is that as what I've said kanina that we really need to learn how to stand up for ourselves. We really need to learn how to voice out for ourselves. And we also need to speak out for ourselves and show the people what we are capable as women. We don't want people to see that women are weak. We don't want them to think about that. But as women, we should break out, we should break down that barrier that women are strong, women are women are a leader, and women can speak out without the help of others. Uh, be yourself. See yourself as someone who has the ability to achieve um, your personal goals and that should go beyond um, gender roles. Um, and don't let the idea of being babae ka lang um, hinder your sense of achievement. Rather, you have to believe that babae ka, that's why you can achieve more. So grabe, no? From the Morales campus, they were able to give us their perspective in regards to being a woman nowadays. And mm -hmm. as Mama Drales said, that you shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't be afraid to just break the barriers and don't be afraid of judgment, you know? There will always be judgment from people because, you know, we all have our opinion on things. Yes. And um, also... Um, I would just like to again re uh, reiterate and emphasize what she said about uh, hindi ka babae lang, yeah. babae ka. Okay, so women again, we are so much more than our gender. So let's not um, allow other people to uh, downplay us just because we're women, because we know that we are so much more than that. Yes. Okay? And indeed, again, I would just like to repeat that it is important to acknowledge the accomplishments of women who set an example for us and to continue fighting for the development of society and their efforts to create a better world for future generations for women. Yes, indeed. Because you know, mom, I really believe in celebrating small victories mm -hmm. because that's a form of self-care. And through that, you can have your own sense of empowerment what's uh, what's your example if i may ask you what's your example of small victories i woke up today i was ah, able yeah, to yeah. eat my breakfast today right you know, and we were able to come here safe yes. we tend to overlook no <clears throat> because we're so stressed especially with college you're so stressed about midterms or people are having their defense today or you have events like that that you don't appreciate the small things that some people don't get to experience or have yes so be thankful for the little things yes because small things matter yeah small lang things siya. matter so moving forward ma'am i want to ask you something out of the blue huh char do you out of the pink oh. i out of the green not okay. tata, <laughs> Sige, out of the green okay. so ma'am do you like coffee are you a coffee person uh yeah but iced coffee lang I, I feel you. Though I, that, I yes. drink hot coffee, naman, but I prefer iced coffee to hot coffee. Same. Why, man? Why? Why do you? Because it's cold. Because <laughs> it's cold. The cold never ano? bothered you anyway. I mean, it's so easy to drink iced coffee because 
compared to the hot coffee now you have to wait for it to cool, cool down, down you know? yes so i would like to consider coffee as another source of daily empowerment, empowerment. Yeah. Ah, lang siya. source of energy yes but like mom that. have you heard of runway cafe yeah you have i have will you I've agree with me that it is more than just a place for great coffee mm -hmm. would you agree it's yeah. a place that is filled with good vibes and good coffee. And this place also, ma'am, is founded by a strong and independent woman. It is a cafe that is setting an example for young women everywhere to take charge and make their mark in the business world. It's, again, it promotes good vibes and good coffee. And I mm -hmm. think it can help you overall, diba ma'am? So Runway Cafe is the perfect place to unwind and or study while also supporting a business that stands for empowerment and positivity. Well, you know, I've I've actually been there with, with my best friend. Yeah, oh. I think that was this year before my best friend went to Cebu, and we've tasted the matcha and the Hungarian sausage with kimchi <coughs> rice. Mm. And I swear, it's really delicious. It's worth the price. Worth the price. Yeah, but it's affordable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it it's is. affordable. Okay. So don't miss out on this amazing cafe located at Capital Bonbon Road, Butuan City. Come today and experience the magic of Runway Cafe. If you want to know more and leave them a message, you can reach them through their Facebook page, Runway Cafe, Butuan City. Ayan. So as you can see, no, Runway Cafe is a really good place for students who are looking for a place to study or to just even hang out. Yes. You know? And uh, moving on, it's time for the real, the real chikahan fee, yes. of course. But before that, mm. listen po, no, listen we'll up. meet muna our guests yes. for today's episode of On the Sunny Side. So introducing our first guest of the day, a woman that can do both. Strutting her intellect and grace at pageants and dribbling her way across the court. An athlete at Mutya Hong 2019, please help me welcome Miss Angela Gaines Bringas. Hello, good morning everyone. Sunny morning! <laughs> Sunny morning, Angela. So pretty naman ni Angela. Siyempre, mom. Correct. Ikaw ka, Mutya Hong Libertad. Angela, um... Beauty queen, oh, of course. Pero, Very pretty. Old, okay. She can do both, Bia. Yeah. So, Miss Angela, how are you feeling today? I am feeling empowered. Oh, oh, feeling empowered. Yes. 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 Same. <laughs> okay. So, uh, there's more guests. As you can see, no? our second guest is the house owner of 12.25 Coffee, the grand winner of Youngpreneur Startup Business Program, and overall radiates woman empowerment. A virtual round of applause for Miss Diza Dizon. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Diza. Miss Diza, you say hello to our audience. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, do, you have, um, do you have something to say to your audience, your friends watching? Uh, okay. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys would... Um, could taste 1225's coffee soon. Yeah. Yes. We have the coffee, by the way, here on our table. Can't wait to drink. Yes. <laughs> Excited si mom. Excited yeah. to go, actually. Very, very, very. So, okay. of course, mom. As, you, as we can all see, we <clears> have <throat> someone here that is a familiar face to some watching. Baka mm -hmm. naman, is she familiar, mom? Yes, of course. Of course. Very so, familiar. Someone 
that is breaking barriers and you know battling the stereotypes and biases in our society today please help me welcome the one and only dean of our university's engineering department miss saima dorashan yeah. sunny morning mom welcome <laughs> morning. to on the sunny side okay Okay. So, let's start na ba our chikahan Chika na ba, mom. Yeah, We'll get to know about um, their levels of empowerment mm -hmm. and how these women got to where they are right now. Right now. Okay? So, so first question. First question? Yeah. Ready first question mo? again. Ikaw, mom, do you feel any pressure right now? Uh, yes. I <laughs> 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 no. so, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, our first question for our three guests is can you describe your strengths or skills as an individual? Um, so we'll start with Miss Diza. Yes, okay. Okay, um, I can describe my strengths and skills um, in regards with my business is that um, I have this courage, I am empowered, and I have the courage to like push through and do what I love to do, like making coffees. Mm -hmm. So. For me, that is one of my strengths that even though there are negatives that were thrown to me that I could not do this, I could not stand alone, um, I could not put up a business um, with just this capital, this strength of mine I've been bringing for already a year. And this strength of mine um, is the one that um, pushes 1225 to grow and is now Medyo na heard na po. Okay. Yeah. Known by its name here in Butuan City. So, my weakness is that kanang mag-overthink lang gani. Mm -hmm. Kanang mag-overthink, kanang madala siguro, pero mas nagalabaw gihapon ang strength mao nang napadayan gihapon ang 1225. Oh, right. That's nice. Perseverance. Um, actually, you've mentioned that you love coffee yes. and it somehow drove you to uh, put up this business. Mm -hmm. yes. And you all, you've also mentioned that you were alone when you put up this business. Like, is that literally like alone? Like, you lang talaga? Physically, it was mm -hmm. kind of like I really was the one who started. Pero mm -hmm. um, emotionally, I have a partner in this business. It's Emotional that, partner. Yeah, emotionally, it's just that ko ayon kanang lagi kay layo, mm -hmm. and then. Ako man dyan ang nag-love of coffee. This partner of mine doesn't love coffee, man. Good. Mark, na-influence na ako siya sa coffee. Mm. In which, into food, man. Good siya. So, ako, sa coffee, good. gusto ko maka-start sa coffee. So, ni-push through ko nga maka-start, Annie, although nga, kanang coffee pa, good. Di ba, known, good, ang mga cafes na good food. Yeah, na, yeah. Na, good, snack man lang. Pero ako, I started it nga, kape lang sa good. It started with, kanang, three three flavors pa lang sa menu hanggang mm -hmm. sa ni growing ang karon daghan ay gyud daghan ay mapilian so mao na siya so when you started your business um kanang like diretso na you bought did you buy the building or ano, are you renting the it or business, it started na um i used our garage mm -hmm. sa house and i popped up there okay table lang tapos um nakabili ng ano mga syrup siguro pero lagi like, three pa man jud ang kuan ato nga time so it started nga kana mga gamit pa jud sa house like table chair mm -hmm, sa house mm -hmm. igawas ko lang tapos sa garahe and then mga neighborhood pa ang mga customers ko okay before. okay so yeah. that's nice no very started ano from scratch. Yeah. yeah yeah no and i think mo success gid ka if um, you're doing things with passion and yes. pure dedication. Because she loves coffee, talaga. Oh, oh. it so, will drive her to mm -hmm. to start something from nothing, diba? And then now that something is becoming something greater. And as we mentioned earlier, this episode is sponsored by Runway Cafe. And our first guest here is from 1225. So we have. The presence from two cafes, and it is both led by strong and independent women. They are like parang friendly competition, de ba? Women helping women <coughs> to grow and become better. Okay. Ana lang. So uh, let's move forward to our beauty queen here, Miss Angela. Um, so can you describe to us your strengths or your skills as an individual? I believe my st strength as a person or as a woman is that I am able to take risk or. I am able to do something what I want, bitaw. Like just like playing basketball. Mm -hmm. It's something na out of the blue lang before when mm. I was back in grade eight. 
um, some of my um, batchmates would tell me it, that I should play for intrams. Then, ako as a girly girl, ko na ah, basin ma judge ko kay like dili lagi kayo super you know same like other um, players. So, mm -hmm. but then um, there was something inside me or like you know thoughts na mag push to pa. So I should take the risk. I joined um, trainings and then. Um, up, to, up until now, at college, I am still one of the varsity players in FSUU. So, so you learned to love basketball, or sa sugod palang yun. There is the rest. I wanted to, mm. but then you know, Scared. people, judgments, uh -huh. ganon. So what, what judgments like? Like ano? Um, people mm. would tell me kasi na, you're you're too girly for that sport. Mm. So kasi di ba like joining pageants and uh -huh. then also playing basketball. I get a lot of comments na, Hello, girl, you're mukhay ka. Sure, you can. You're basketball. Ka. Tas, Naku, ha? Hindi, hindi. Pwede mag-basketball lang. So, from that time, I started to, ano, kanang learn dito nga, don't, don't care sa ilahang mga comments. Kay, it's what I want naman. So, why bother their uh, yeah. comments? Okay, mm -hmm. so, going for what she really wants, yeah. despite the, ano, what sana, everyone says. Yes. Sana along. Okay. How about mom? Are oh, you excited go on mom? Yeah, Mrs. Saima. <laughs> Engineer yes. Saima. Pero Mrs. Engineer. she ano daw, She's happy daw when people call, call her Mrs. Mrs. Address her as Mrs. Yes. No? Kasi nakaka-miss daw. Mm -mm. Okay, so what about you, mom? What are your strengths <laughs> or your skills as an individual? Well, I could say I am an amazing multitasker because aside from being a dean here in FSUU, I am doing my full-time schooling as in my doctorate, doctorate degree mm -hmm. for civil, civil engineering. So, and at the same time, I have two kids, okay, to take care of. So, <coughs> muna makaingon ko amazing multitasker. <laughs> and also, I have an online shop. So, oh. please like ZJ Closet, everyone. Nah, correct. <laughs> A plug na. Yes. <laughs> Again, Mama, what's, what's the name of your page? ZJ Closet. ZJ Closet. Um, mm -hmm. Facebook lang, ma'am? Yes, Facebook lang. Sa, uh, Facebook lang. Okay. So, um, there's some set of questions here, no? And this first question is for Miss Diza. But you will have to stay tuned for that because oh, okay. we will be taking a break. So please, if you want, you can grab more of your drinks or your food, and you will. We will be learning more about the guest after this.
welcome back to our episode on the sunny side. But before we move on to uh, um, our question and answer portion, since this is a talk show, no man, um, we have our coffee here. So thank you so much for uh, to our sponsor for the coffee that we have right now. Yes, um, Runway Cafe. Thank also, you so much. Also, yes. Also, um, shout outs. Anyone, ma'am, ma'am, uh, Miss Angela, if you have shout out to. My best teacher in <laughs> best teacher in Morello, Sir Eman Miano. So hi sir, he's he's currently watching down. And to my family, hi. <laughs> oh, there's also someone uh, um Sunshine Sanchez. Yes. She says hello Dean Dao. Hello Mam Dean Dao. Yes. Yes. Congrats <laughs> din kang Mrs. Saima. Oh. Ikaw, ma'am, do you okay. have ano? Hello outs? to my husband, to Jay Z. To my ETP family and to the B and Builders family, to Sunshine Kinkin and to my mother. Hi, Mama. I hope you're watching. Oh, sana nga talaga mm -hmm. they're watching. Okay, so um, shall we move on about to the question and answer? Are you ready, ladies? Okay, so again, this question is for Miss Diza. Um, as a woman who single-handedly established an entrepreneurial business, have you faced certain issues with your personal venture? Any compromises, for example? Yes, I have faced a lot of um, issues. Mm -hmm. These issues are those, of course, struggle. Struggle sa mga times nga bago pa, mm -hmm. like um, um, like before, of course, naman yun ang financial, dili yun na ma, ano, especially nga, it started nga, it was, um, the money I used is my savings. So, di ba, I have a partner with this emotionally because for that time, ako lang man good ang naa physically. Mm -hmm. So, among savings, among gi use for this, and then in which it grew na kanang ni help na pud ang family pero dili gyud kanang financially pero like i use ang house i use ang garahe di ba murag support ra na uh -huh. sa family sige gamitan ni ang ana so kanang ang mga issues is mga struggles nako na and then isa pud ako ka struggle is kanang mga dili mo support uh -huh. like ko an ba pud na siya nato like kanang of course kanang naan man tay mga friends nga mo suporta sa ato ah. so there are these ones also nga kanang Low key, dili di I mean, you thought na kana mu support, pero dili di I, and then just in a little ano ba yak kana mu support ka through bisag share lang is already a support for me, mm -hmm. and then encouragement na punas sa ako ang mu padayon kay dagay naga look up, dagay naga look forward nga puhon makafair yun pun ko kay sa karon um, take out counter paman so it started really from scratch ba mm -hmm. nga kana from pop ups. Naga ano lang ko ato kanang nisulod ko barbecuehan, ni pop up ko dito, pop up ko sa um Mercia Karinderiahan, ni pop up mm. ko dito tapos ni pop up ko sa garage sa mong house and that in which I decided nga dava mo ko nag start ato for 3 months. I decided to go home to my hometown with one city to start this nga pop up gihapon. Mm -hmm. Sa garahe lang gihapon kay di ba ko an pa man to nga time, mga time um COVID. So yeah. So, grabe siya nga struggle nga sigig pop up, sigig pop up, gina rolling pa ang money. Kaya lagi financially, nag struggle po ko financially pa ato, kanang kuunsay na a, ah, i-rolling pagihapon, mm -hmm. hangtod sa mo grow na gani nga kanang. When I went home, daghan na yun po ko an sa menu, kanang daghan ako na add mm -hmm. yung mga syrups, daghan ako na add nga mga flavors pa jud nga in which from three na him na siya karun, nga more than ten na siguro to, yeah. kakuan flavors niya. Nana put me non-coffee. So, di ba, coffee naman yun akong focus. Ni-decide po ko nga mo venture out. Nga ka na na-add na po yung non-coffee like matcha, chococoa. Yung ana, among na-add sa among menu. Tapos ni-add na po yung dessert. Na na po yung ice cream with, with, um, ice cream with espresso. So, murag gitawag siya, afogato. So, ka na ni-venture out ko hangtod sa puhon. Mo-add na po yung night juices. Ana, so slowly, nag-grow yun siya. Ka na ganing, ginaput lang yun ako sa akong mind. Ito nga mga times sa mga struggles na ako kay basta hinay, basta kanunay. Yeah. Basta hinay. Bahalari but surely. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, yes, there are compromises nga. I understood the situation. And then, I was being content lang po. And then, gitry na ako grow, grow, grow. And then, padayon. Mao lang gina ang ako gina put sa home mind. Never quit. So um, how was the experience when you you mentioned na kanang gap up lang ka before, 
and then you were physically alone, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so how was, you know, the experience? Was there ever a time na you thought about, ay, dili na ako ni Padayon, kay kakapoy ba ako ra isa? Tapos napagid ko yung mga friends nga unsupportive, something like that. Um, actually, um, for me, um, wala ko naka-isip po yung stop mm-hmm. because I was really looking forward. Ang ako mag na think is ang future. Like, I want to be like this, so... I will not give up. Okay, I want to be this big na. So I know from this starting small, I could be this big. And then in which nga kanang, although physici- physically, oh, oh, I'm alone. I have little ones mam put in which family good first. Mm-mm. Family good first ang kanang, kanang ni, ni support sa ako aba. Although physically kanang dili good. Okay, of course, ako maning passion. Ako maning choose aning adventure. So, um, ni ano lang yun ko, kanang push through lang yun na ko. So, more siyang nag-take yun ko risk, mga grabe yun ka na ko, nga kanang, instead, gani nga, my mom doesn't want me to be like this. Mm-hmm. Because she really dreamt of me being in, being an office girl. That mm-hmm. is what she wants for me. In which, she understood my passion, gani nga, akong gusto is business. I want to be the boss of my, ano, Wow. Because of my and now so, you're the CEO. Yes, and Miss, yeah. we have a supporter here with us. She said, "Nice ka ati dai." It's an it's from Angela Tuazon. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, as someone Miss who has managed to won a competition, a start up, and then you you are you have come this far as you mentioned from three flavors to now ten more what, than ten more than ten na the I Jod. So what what can you say na as someone who is like parang interested in that type of things or interested in like going out of their comfort zones what can you like saying that you should have certain qualities are there any or like what type of person should you be to be able to be successful in this area of life for me um there are no qualities jude like if it is your passion you can do so like you um pwede ganit nga wala ka nag school yud ana like wala ka ni graduate as barista or wala ka ni take of training like even just experience ako um, honestly speaking experience lang jud ako na take in which i was just a uh, coffee goer in Davao City like i go coffee hop cafe hopping and that's where i that's where i learned because na friend na ako ang mga barista atong mga cafes in mm-hmm. which they taught me because i was very interested with how to make this how to make that Um, unsay timbang ani, unsay timbang ana, because I want to be like this soon. I want to have like this also soon. So in which, um, ang mga tao dito, they they let me experience being in the bar, mm-hmm. and then they let me make my own coffee. In which dito gid ko naka experience, and then nakaingon ko nga. Pwede naman dito mo start. It doesn't need to be nga kanang niskwela gid ko ani, di ba na ay ko an ana siya they tawag ana nga course kanang vocational lang mm. nga barista mm. in which nga kanang makaput up na kag cafe tungod kay nakagiskwelahan so dili man necessary so for me no qualities it's just that ko unsay mong passion go and do what you love to do yes yeah just push through in what you really love to do ana lang jud kay dili ra man jud pud ka mo grow like sa ako dito ra pud ko ni grow in which dito ko naka learn You have someone, or is this someone you know, but Liza? That's my mom. Oh, that's your mom. Oh, Liza Dizon. Hi, mommy. Glory <laughs> to God, Ate. Oh. Congrats, mommy. You have a CEO na. Yeah. And I think <laughs> it's really CEO. inspiring, mom. Miss Diaza here is like setting the example of, have you heard of uh, reason over passion? Like mm. she has her passion with her to keep her like spark going and to motivate her. But she also remembers her reason na someday I want to be big. Someday I want to be there, na, de ba? Okay. Uh, this is just a curious question, ha? De ba? You said man, uh, you had friends, na baristas. Uh, they still keep in touch with each other. Yes. Do of they course. know, na, na, you have your own cafe? Yes. Um, actually, not just barista, pero owner jud mismo sa mm. kanak ng cafe that I look up to there dito sa Davao because I've been going to Davao for like twice a month, once a month to get supplies because. My products are also supporting local, mm. so I su- 
um, through supporting local, I buy supplies from Davao City. So, murag kanang within the Philippines, about within Mindanao, Lampard, and then. Dito, every time I go there, di, yun na ako ginakalimtay nga mo visit yun, ani nga mga cafe. Nice. Okay, thank you so much, Miss um, Diza. So, let's have another question for Miss Angela this time. Um, being, you know, a beauty queen and a basketball player, how do you respond to people saying that, like what you've shared kanina, how do you respond to people saying that basketball is a manly game or a sport mainly made for men? Actually, usually, I don't respond to them. Mm -hmm. But if I can respond to them, I would say what a man can do, a woman can do better. So, you know, why <laughs> not just do do things what you really want to do? Then don't mind their comments, because it will ano mangod ka nang somehow block you but from mm -hmm. doing what you want. Kasi mas ginap um ginap ani mo ang ilahang comments. So, so I just don't you know. Care sa ilahang ginaingon. Pero um, de ba since you said na from grade eight you started playing basketball and then up until now, so ano ba um up until now may mga tao parin bang nagsasabi sa yon for example na oh hey di kan man bagay yan. I actually um no na but I got comments like masak lang sila if like ah first time seeing me like um. I kasi di ba nagpandemic, so I stop playing since we can't go, you know, sa court. We can't do um physical activities. So what happened is a lot of people don't know na, and I met a lot of new people then during ano pandemic. So um there was a time when I went to um military camp because of you know um lay bearer ganon for guests. Um. If they would ask me if I play basketball or any sport, so I would say I play basketball. They would, you know, get shocked. Like, how sure you got? Because I'm in heels, coat, and plus I'm dressed. Pero pero somehow they would invite me to play, man. Like, I guess people now are accepting the fact that a woman can also do things what a man can do. So there is progress and there is growth. A woman who can really do both, ma'am, de ba, ma'am? Yeah, according to. Sir Eman, iba ka talaga daw ate. Um, I have a question, Angela. Who influenced you to play basketball, ba? Um, actually, my mom. Because before basketball player din siya. Ay dili siya varsity pero ga play siya during intersection before. And also my sister, she's um a player sa bap before. So it's like nasa sa tuyo ano yah. Pero ano man gud ka ng I I played because sa unan kay kanang like mubo mubo pa man ko ginaingnan ko na pagduwa og basketball kay makataas na if na kay sports dili yo <laughs> really do <laughs> kay ma 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 enhance i hope oh. it's not too late for <laughs> 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 mag basketball na ta yes ma'am oh. so, wala kay sports zone na wala sorry ah. wala guys so i guess there's truth in what miss angela <laughs> said ay Oh, so I got one. So it's amazing, no, how Miss Angela did all of that. Like she was able to walk in heels, but at the same time dominate in court. So, Miss Angela, I would like to ask you now: How did you manage to find the balance? Actually, my coach, Coach Jay, shout out, Coach. I know. He is also from Libertad. So during the time that I joined Pageant, he was very understanding when I can go to um, trainings mm -hmm. kasi I would prioritize. Although there is all, only a short period of time kasi for us to um, do our practices sa uh, um, pageants. But then sa basketball, we would do it um, twice a week or thrice a week. So he was very understanding. So it was, I really did not need to, you know, pick one or like one because mm -hmm. he said, I can do it naman after. But just Um, some limitations pag man training like dili mapasaan kay you know uh, mag ko an ba um there's um dresses that can um expose your legs ganon so there are some limitations but then um it's not about the my extracurricular it was all about my academics and extracurricular that time mm. not it was between academics or pageantry or basketball ganon yeah but 
Um, how do you do that? How do you actually avoid kanang getting wounded sa gamay or scratched na? You know, basketball is a physical oh, sport, yeah. so that's totally unavoidable. So, how do you do that? Mag-inerte. <laughs> <laughs> so, paano? Paano mag-inerte? And na lang, if, I, I mean, usually, if I play games, kid, um, I, there's marks, you know, after. Yeah. So, what I do is, you know, treat it right away. Like, uh-huh. put ice, or um, if sa mud, or if mag, ano lang, butang uh, betadine, ganun. Mm-hmm. Mga, ano lang, mga simple stuff lang, kay, it's, it's really pero before the pageant before the pageant proper i stopped muna tra- uh, my training sa basketball just for like a week mm, for preparation lang yeah. sa pageants okay so do you have any upcoming games soon ano finish na mong ano last game atong sa Marela say up for ah. reg- regional ay they won they won uh, yeah, they won, won right? yeah. sa regionals na games and then our next game is on uh, is sa Davao um I think April 16 to 22. Pero I'm still I still have um a debate within myself if mo push through kay graduating Why? and then ah, okay. there's upcoming um, exams and etc so but I think I can manage naman. Pero you'll be excused naman, right? Yeah. Sa so, class, but I'm so scared. Char. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm scared ko for ano my uh, my grades char. Oh, yeah. Don't want to miss kasi since you know it's almost the finish. Mm. Ano, sa finish line. So now's yeah. the time to think about um your priorities. priorities. Yes. Yeah. This, is, this is the time. Okay, so there is a comment here from Sean Avila. The most inspiring woman I know is my mother. She is willing to sacrifice so much for my siblings and I. Yes, um, See, most mama. talaga sa mothers, yeah. they do that. No? So uh, Thank you so much, Sean, for sharing. So if you guys have any questions to our guests, feel free to leave them down below and we'll get back to them later. Or if you want to share who inspires you to be empowered and all of that, comment down below. You'll never know. You might get a chance to win the prize for today's episode. Okay, so thank you, Angela. No, um, we'll ask na this time, um, Ma'am Saima. So, yes. so di ba, as we have um, introduced her kanina, she's an engineer yes. and also the dean of um, the engineering program. And she's studying also, ma'am. Yeah, she's studying also. Um, in the job industry, ba, ma'am, engineers are usually attributed to male practitioners, di ba? Once you're an engineer, barag, usually males talaga. Would you say you're being paid and treated fairly and equally in your career as a woman? Okay, so I could say uh, working moms, because I'm a working mom, mm-hmm. are a liability because we could power through issues and problems with grit and resilience and and it's because of the parental responsibility. So we are well trained of the parental responsibilities. So by that, we have both the strength and empathy, okay, that sets us apart. Mm-hmm. So we, have, we can context twist easily. So that's the difference. So muna kong na- different between these two young ladies here. So wala pa man sila yung mga babies. So, Najay sudden transition ang woman kung nanay mga anak. So, mm-hmm. murag makaya na to ang tanan. <laughs> okay, um uh, in terms of ano ma'am, the, uh, your profession being an engineer, in terms of kanang salary, um can you say na you are, you know, well compensated kanang wala bay mga um bias. yeah, bias or unfair treatment just because you are a woman, you are different from the guy engineers, the men engineers. Well, I'm I'm a civil engineer but I'm in the academic mm. academic field. So it's different when when uh in when when our con- compensation natong pag-usapan. So it's different from academic to field engineers and especially to those engineers doing as contractor or, or con- mm-hmm. construction or those engineers in uh, agencies. So, lahi lahi. So, naman ko sa akadim. So, I could say, well compensated ko ni FSUU. Supportive okay. kayo si FSUU po sa kanan. So, so shout, shout out, out to FSUU. Out. FSUU. <laughs> so, ma'am, we have a question from <coughs> one of our viewers, si Miss Sunshine Sanchez Atazan. Atazan. She is asking what or if she may know ba daw, what is your ultimate goal in life and what inspires you to thrive for it? <laughs> Nangunayo pangutana. <laughs> Support na lang, ma'am. 
Okay, so what inspires me? So, is, number one, my sons. So, I have two sons. Hi. Okay, so, sila ang number one yung inspiration. Second is, I just go, tanan ako gusto, what is right for me. I think what's right for me. So, and I'm happy doing it. So, especially if, grabe na siya ka, hectic. So, the on, my online shop is, mura siya akong diversion to, mm. para ma, ma recharge. Mm -mm. So, I think, wala siya, mangita tag, Mugawas ta sa ato ang stressful nga, nga world. So, muto siya akong balhinan para maka-recharge ko to go back a holy na pod as a whole. So, Grabe no, um, the common denominator that I'm getting from these three ladies we have here is kanang, they're all so very, very determined yes. to get what they want. Resilient. Parang, I don't care about the world. Yeah. I want this. I'm gonna get this. Yes. Something like that. They, okay. they they know what they want. Mm -mm. They they are expecting or they have this certain finish line. But at the same time, they're enjoying their journey. Okay. Diba? So another question, ma'am. Kaya diba you've mentioned na you are a mother of two. So how do you how do you balance ba your being a mother and being a kanang full? I I mean be uh, working full time. Actually, it takes courage to become a working mom. So it takes courage to leave my kids to someone other than me. So it takes courage to still fulfill my responsibility as a wife and and also as a good mother to my kids. So but there is no way, there is no perfect way or required. So as long as I work towards exactly what is right for me and push off aggressively any should that isn't right for me, so okay, rajud kayo siya. So murag ngana as long as happy ka sa imong gibuhat mm -hmm. so go hana um ano ba ma'am wala bang time na may, kanang nagka-conflict ang imong yes, schedule so, as you know you're a very busy person you're a dean so nagka-conflict ba ni siya yes, imong oh, work and your time so, with your siya, sons? normally magod choices magod between work career and family or personal yeah. so there is no one size fits all method mm -hmm. so that's why that's why nga, I should know all my why. So every mother should know all their why. So why am I doing this? Why am I taking my doctorate degree while I'm the dean of the engineering program? And while I have two kids yeah. to take good care of. So if I answer my own why, so I could set things into perspective. And by that, I can prioritize better. So every mother has their own why. Every mother is... so. Kuan sila, ah, na sila yung mga unique ability to fight for their own why. So, mm -hmm. muna siya. So, say mang good. There are things na I need to submit deadlines sa work. So, there are assignments to be done sa kung schooling. And then my kids are sick. So, kana, sige daw, kung wala na ko to na set ang akong mga, mga gusto sa life, makabuang di ba? So, yes. muna siya. So, you should know your priority. So, after ana, og, na answer ni mo imong own why as a mother of. What you are doing? Why are you doing that? Then okay, na dayon. Imo mahan ay ang tanan. Charge ay mo. Grabe mo. I I admire people like that. Yeah. As in good. Grabe multitasker good legit. No, so dili siya. Accurate ang description ni Mam sa yung isa. Very accurate and. Someone from our viewers, it's Rafael Jen. I hope I'm reading your Kachuala. name correctly. Um, just like how inspiring our Dean of Engineering is, her most inspiring woman in her life is her mother, who is currently fighting for cancer, but she never sees her give give up. She is a strong she is strong and a fighter. So prayers to you and your mom yeah. and virtual hugs. Virtual, virtual hugs. hugs. Virtual hugs. So uh, again, you guys, feel free to comment down any questions for any of our guests here today. Again, there's a chance to win a prize. And yun! Diba, girl, we got strong, independent women. Junta din hiya da pita, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Hira jun siya. There's one, one more na we can ask from our guests. If, if they can just say something like a one-liner. Ay, sige, ma'am. One-liner quotation. One sentence lang about, ang sagot to Faye, about... Um, women empowerment. empowerment. Yes, women empowerment. I know. Uh, for motivational purposes, could you deliver a one-liner quotation or statement for women who aspire all sorts of personal goals? Like for motivation lang, what can you say to the women out there aspiring to have everything? Something like that. Miss Diza. 
<laughs> my motto po sa akong self, um, I would also want to share it to empower other women. Just a two-word phrase, never give up. Kana lang yun. Padayon. Abante, babae. Yeah. Let's go. Never give up. <laughs> 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 oh my God, never give up. Abante, okay. babae, do mm-hmm. mom. So how about Miss <laughs> Angela? Angela? For me, it's take that risk. So, you know, you'll never know where, where that leads you. So, go for it. Yes. And so how about Mrs. Sayoma? Okay. Uh, you're doing your best even if you think you are at your worst. Okay, yeah, so. And you're doing your siya. best even. So, relate ano na sa midterms. Am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the struggle is real, mom. So, yun. Ikaw, mom. Keep May one liner ka, mom. <laughs> Wala, raba. <laughs> May one, mom. Uh, I, I don't really feel motivated right now. Charers lang. Pero ang ako kay ano, um, since I have answered this one kanina man about what makes me feel empowered, kanang continue honoring your your self worth. Never forget to take good care of yourself. Do not downplay yourself. You can do a lot of things. Just believe uh, that it will be yours and it will be. In the future. In the future. Well, what about you, Faye? What's your one-liner quotation? For me, mom, I can relate to mm-hmm. some of them. But I aspire to be like Mrs. Sayoma. She's really good at multitasking. And I have a lot of things I want to try. But then, I'm still in the process of improving my time management skills. Mm-hmm. So, I would say reason over passion. Just remember that. Because sometimes your passion will die, die down. But as Mom Saima said earlier, that if you remember your whys, you'll be able to push it through. And that passion of yours will come back. Yeah. Diba? Oh my God. Very timely. Ma-apply na ko siya sa kong self. Oh, okay, Mom. Correct. Para nawawala yung passion ko. Okay, so <laughs> another question for our guests here is when all is said and done, how do you want to be remembered by the people whose lives you've positively affected? How will you celebrate yourself as a woman? So let's start from mom, ano naman, oh, so mom, Saima. Okay, so, di ba multitasker man ko na ako mm-hmm. ikuan, so I could celebrate if mother lang ko, good mother. Okay, so actually I'm planning man soon to have my own study leave. Okay, so to focus on my dissertation. So by that, excited ko ana because I can do my full responsibility to my kids aside lang sa kuang dissertation. So kana I want to be a full time mom soon. Mm, okay, uh, Miss Angela, how do you want to be remembered as a woman? Um, actually, I want to be remembered through promoting my advocacy sa through like sports. what I um. Diligino advocacy on sports, pero. <laughs> Pero sa ano, um, sa akong pageant, um, I use, I'm not used, but I'm still advocating for it. Like, um, to, you know, promote um, our culture here in Butuan. Especially sa food industry, just like, you know, the Palag Singh, you know, yes. what really is ours. So, I want to be remembered um, to be that person who keeps on promoting mm. and someone who never forgets. Kay it's very important for, uh, for us youth to know that what 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 was our culture or what mm-hmm. is our culture? Yeah, and to continue to you continue, know, you know, um, living yeah. the culture. Yeah, because I I met a lot of ano na, um, makers of you know um, um, the legacy here in Butuan. Yes. They really don't have already that. Um, they're they're not that famous here in Butuan, yeah. but they're famous outside of Butuan. Mm. Um, a lot of um, businesses would ask for their numbers mm-hmm. so that they can export it. Some gani kay madala pa siya outside the Philippines because yes. be, because people don't forget kasi especially those who are from Butuan before. Yes. Mm. As someone who is a proud Butuanon, my family get kay originated gid mitaga bansa jud mi mom. Mm. So, as someone who is a Butuanon, I really admire your advocacy with that and yeah guys, you should try like Butuanon the legacies yes. like what she said Palagsing. And Kayam, there are really more. You should explore and get to know your culture. Um, again, you guys, before we proceed to our last guest of her answer, um, we will encourage you to once again ask questions down there in the comment section below. Again, there will be a prize. So just ask any questions to any of our guests here today or all three of them. And who knows, you might win our prize. Diba, mom? And the prize will be the G-cash. G-cash. So, so, para siya, mom. Ikaw, kita mo Yeah. Mom. 
pwede, 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 pwede kami. Pwede <laughs> kami. Daghan namin na pangunta na gayin na. So, kung ano to siya, times 10. Oh, yeah, <laughs> medyo mom. Okay. So, how about Miss... Ano, um... I think... Okay. Yeah. How about you, <laughs> Miss? What, um... How do you want to be remembered by as a woman? Or how do you celebrate yourself as a woman? Mm, I want to be remembered sa mga tao na I am a godly and strong woman because um, 1225 would not be built without prayers. Like, I always prayed to God that He would give this to me. I always ask this to Him. And then, I always ask for His guidance and knowledge nga kanang maging strong ganit ko despite the negatives, the odds that would come, the struggles that I may experience. So, I always put God first before I start my business, open my business, and when I end my business, thanking Him also for the blessings every day sa sales. So, kana I want to be known, I, I want to be remembered na um, I, I start everything with prayer. So, godly woman and a strong woman. Okay, she is a strong and godly woman. That's well, how very she wants to be remembered by. Yeah. No, oh, mom, how do you want to be remembered by? Ako, I don't know. I just want to be remembered as <laughs> as, <laughs> as a person nga kanan ano, kind. Sunny? Am I kind? <laughs> yes. Pero yeah, kay kasi mang good if a person is very kind. Daghay ano, daghay kanang maka remember sa iya ha. Daghan ka ayo ang Alam mo may nun nga, hala, kato siya, butan, labato siya. Alam mo ito. So, somehow ba, na ay effect ba nga? Kano wala, butan ka na, okay, despite of the things that you have done nga, yes. feeling ni mo kay sayop or what, pero na the other people nga, they're actually, kanang, like, admiring you from afar. Kano bang, wow, na ade na ade mm. gapon ko yung effect sa other people. And you know, sana, kindness, uh, ang kindness, marag, the tayo, kindness goes a long yeah, way. Yeah, goes a long yes. way. Kasi maabtan. So, yeah, just be Strong si ma'am atong iyahang. So, muna siya, sa ako po nga part, diba, I don't want to be remembered as the dean lang. And, mm -hmm. So, I want to be remembered as a good mother. So, yes. murag, ma'am, malimtan mang good siya. Kay, tungod kay, soon, I, soon ako na-claim, a doctor naman jud ko. So, murag, ah, nabanga, as a doctor na TV dad. So, I don't want to be remembered as that. So, gusto ko ma-remember nga. Hmm, nice na ba ito siya nga, mami? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, kaya the titles, ano lang yun, temporary lang. Yes. Kanang, okay, the title is there, pero ang batasan dyan sa tao, yes. behavior sa tao, and all that. Okay, so there's a question in the, um, our live. Ano, live sa akong, akong kasi. From <laughs> Atazan <laughs> Theris. This question is for Saima Atazan Natividad. As a Jill of Trades, what's your recent splurge as reward to yourself? Ma'am, Saima. What makes you so happy? What makes you happy? So After having a long day at work. So actually, it's a good treat for me nga, to have just a weekend trip with my kids. So just recently, Manggod, na ko break sa ko ang doctorate. So nang laag mi sa ko mga anak to visit their dad. So that's a good treat. So mang laag yeah. mi with my so even even pod nga if wala jud ko travel so I'll be traveling again to Iligan tomorrow because I have a seminar so muna siya kung life travel is life so mas happy ko it's a good treat to travel with my kids so muna siya or it just even kung dili travel i treat na ko sa Robinsons or SM mm. so ingana lang siya to spend time with my kids so basically your kids happiness is also your happiness yes like and a it's reward. a good reward for mm. myself Yes, no. As a mother, you know, self, ma selfless gid ka pag mother na ka. Malayo pa kayo. Like, as a mother. <laughs> Char! <laughs> From my experience, um, as a mother. You're a teacher. So, you're like a mother of, you're like a mother to yeah, me. Yeah, but, lahi lang magid ng, siguro ka ng legit gid ng mom. Yeah. Gikan gid sa imo nga, ano ba ito? Nanganak gid ka. <laughs> ano ba? Marag, hala no? Yes, I Pero, yes. no offense, kaya lahi man ang definition sa pagka mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero it's very inspiring how mom tries to be a really good <clears throat> mother, you know. Some people don't get that. Some people don't have that opportunity of even having a mom by their side. So yeah. I really admire that from you, mom. So how about Miss Angela and Miss Diza? Like how what's your like recent reward? Splurge? What's your reward? Shopee? <laughs> or <laughs> Shopee? Coffee. 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 <laughs> Are you in? Coffee. Coffee. Or like something. Or like book mo ahead. I know. Um 
recently, ako ba naman ang midterms. So, nag-samgyup. Ah! Samgyup daw, yeah, hafe. Okay, tapos? Ha? I thought na ba kayo, ano, sumpay? Wala, ano. Little things lang. Little things, as a student. As a student, labi na graduating. And, you know, aiming for, you know, higher awards. Yes. So, everything, if nahuman kong study, then I take 20 minutes nga nap before mag, ano. 20 minutes na, John. 20 minutes na, ma'am. Kay budgeted ang time ka ron. Grabe, 20 minutes. 20 minutes nap, tas mumata na po, tas study na po. Hala, no? Actually, ma'am, there's a study on that na it's effective. Power naps. Yeah, power naps. Yeah, when you're feeling drained, like you have a long study session ahead, tas coffee doesn't help anymore, taking a short nap can help you. Yes. It's charged pa. Yeah. Okay, what about Miss Diza? Um, for me, um, ang ako ang mga get away, like, para makarest po, you can sa lagi magsigig sel, magsigig baligay, himo o kape. Mm -hmm. um, if rest na ko ang muad to sa Davao City. So, my family, my whole family is there, man. So, rest po na ko, nga makita akong whole fam again dito, and then kana po, food trip, and mm -hmm. coffee hopping na po dito, kanang mm -hmm. venture out na po dun sa mga bago nga mga koan. So, mara siya dalaga ni like, actually, going to Davao is ano naman tayo na, ka na murag, mo ano lag supplies, bakuha og supplies, pero murag dala na po siya nga get away, gani nga, maka pahangin po, mm -hmm. ka na, rest po na so, na po um, siya. Um, how did you get here in Butuan ba? Like, are you who are you Butuan? with? Yeah, I am, I am from Butuan, but uh, my fam, um, I, I studied in Davao. Uh, when I started studying in Davao, second year college year, ko ni apa sa kong family. Mm. So dito na po nag work akong mom and akong siblings tulo na ako ka igsuon. Dito na po sila nag school, nagpadayon ng school. So when I decided to go home, dili man sila makauli kay nag skwela pa man, ako mm. mama nag work pa. So ako rajud isa. So mamon kina akong goal po, business yun. So after Davao City, I went home here, and then I started. I started the business I really wanted to start. Yes. Yeah, so congrats, congrats no, yeah. the cafe is really doing well right yes. now. And you guys, it is really important to acknowledge yourself. Na kanang, you're tired na, and it's okay to take a breather yeah. for some time, take whether that break. be a 20 minute nap or a getaway trip or something like that. Take a breather, okay? Burnouts are not a joke. So we have a question here in our live from Sean Avila. What advices can you give to people who are struggling with inter mm, entrepreneurship and other responsibilities like schools or work? So I think <laughs> it's best to start with Ms. Chaisa, no? Um, for me, the advice that I could give, no, kay I keep, I, I said a while ago na kana um, prayer, mm -hmm. prayer, um, prayer really works and para sa ako, prayer really moves. So for me, Mogi po kana murag source of comfort na ko if I pray and ask God um, to help me in decisions that I will be making. So, in regards to entrepreneurship, like business, the advice that I could give if you're struggling in what, like financial, if financially, of course, kinahalang yun na grabbing a prayers, nga kanang, we could, um, we would pray nga kanang, sa financial, kanang, Ma hatagan kiri ta of peace of mind kung kinsay willing mo help in regards sa financial kanang aha mo kuwag money like that so in, sa business world pod like kanang kuwag customers mm -hmm. kanang if you're struggling na kanang wala kay customers like that sa business world ko an lang jud kanang imo lang jud it put sa imo mind always ang positive thoughts gani nga kanang sige lang na alagi mo palit tapos mm -hmm. kanang I koan po di mo kanang, i follow up po di mo o do. Like, yeah. dili lang jud kay gina think ni mo ang positive, you have also to do. Correct. So, of course, we already have social media naman, Facebook, Instagram, it's really a trend, and then almost everyone are on their phones scrolling. So, why not think of an advertisement you could post, a promo you could post, niya kana makita po sa tao, i share sa imong friends, kung dili sa friends within the family, that would go on and so on and so forth. Dira naman yun mag-start mo ng 
bisag one year na mi sa business kay makaingon ko nga although slow siya pero at least wala siya ni undang and then koan padayon gihapon ang growth gani yes so actually we have a comment here from Mr. Benjamin he said that it's a very revolution Re revolutionizing. Yes, revolutionizing <laughs> how women tend to be as powerful as men. And I have no doubt since I also have an empowered woman by my side, his wife, and he would like to comment, commend these wonderful women for being loud and proud, continue to be a role model to the community, and he wonders what are our future plans to make a significant change in this world we are living. So, so how about uh, change? So how about Miss Angela? He is asking, like, what are your plans? Advice. Yeah. I know. Oh. The, oh, yeah. Sh Sean's comment. No. Kanina. This one. Ah, pero kanina. Kanina muna. Kanina muna. Oh. Ah, oh, sige go. Kasi, the question was addressed to all of them, all of right? Them. Okay, so. What's your advice to people na ginagunan entrepreneurship, oh. academics, work? Um, my advice is to find that balance betaw. Um, make a schedule for everything. Mm -hmm. okay, for me, it works magid. Um, for example, um, as someone who is studying and also playing basketball, nag, um, I have my schedule for trainings um, 3 to 6 p.m. every Wednesday and Saturday. But then on Wednesdays, I also have classes 3 to 9 p.m. So what I do is, I pri on Saturday, I make sure that I go to trainings Mm -hmm. And on Wednesday, I focus on my academics. So it's just like, you know, balancing everything. Although there are times that, you know, dili na tama balance, dili na tama likayan nga. Mat shock na tama. Hala na mani, nga na na mani. But then, uh, no, like, get back on track, um, you know, breathe, and then, you know, go on again with life. You know? Yes. So that's it. Make a schedule. Yeah. And then know your priorities. Yeah. But however, sometimes you're only human. So it's okay to have we're setbacks. You're only human. Okay, mom. Mama, wala ang sunny morning, mom. Okay, moving on to Mrs. Saima, Mom Saima. So, how do you. Uh, I, what's your advice, ma'am? So, more to just like <coughs> what I said, Kikaniha, just work towards and identifying what's right for you. So, and push off any should that isn't right for you. So, namagoy mga. You're a mom, so you should stop. I uh, know that uh, you should stop your schooling. You should so, as long as you know what's right for you, then go for it. Okay. Okay. So it's very important to take time for yourself. Pray, especially when you feel like nobody is listening. Someone really is. So pray, and then it's okay to cut certain things off. So know your priorities, and then cutting. Things or like hobbies, or it can also be people, diba? Yeah, who are no mga longer unnecessary. Nga, yeah, because you are the sum of what you surround yourself with. <laughs> so, gonna correct. Na. So, uh, we have a question yes. here, ma'am, from Adrienne and Suyun. What advice can you give to women and men who still have prejudice against women or even having misogyny in this era in the Philippines? So, yeah, let's start to go with our ano, beauty queen and Sava. No pressure at all. But like, no pressure. What? Yung, kasi, <laughs> <laughs> just so, ano ba, an honest answer. Yeah. Now, what advice can you give to people that until now they still have, thank you, Faye, they still have this prejudice against women and especially those who are uh, misogynists? And they're stuck with that uh -huh. mindset. Siguro, ano, Ano kasi we can't change what we can't immediately change what their ano what their mindset is. So mm -hmm. I can advise siguro um they should grow. <laughs> they should, they should grow. grow. Like <laughs> ano, ano, accept that grow we are up. <laughs> you know we are in different time. Oh uh, yeah, different time and things are moving quickly and then you know we should accept that there are things that are not the same anymore as before. Mm -hmm. Just like how empowered we are now. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. But, like, you know, as much as we can't really change their mindsets immediately, we can't just dictate mga pod na. Grow up. <laughs> oh, you grow, grow up. Dapat wala na kaing ana. So, uh, how do you think people can, you know, 
do that. How do you think can people grow from that mindset to being, you know, open to being, yana? You know, ano lang, slowly accepting, ano, mm -hmm. you know, kanang um can't really change because someone eh, if <laughs> yeah. they're not willing. So there's a lot of separate na lang siguro ang Facebook sa ko an <laughs> sa mga ano. <laughs> It's like own group. So, hello, emotion. Mo mo jud yung na ko na ano ano ang nasulot sa mga separate na lang yun sila. Lagi we can have more people. Listen to each other. Give good advice to people. Kay kay sometimes mga do whatever they think is it. Kano if mo sa lagi naman mo na jud na ilang hang mindset. No right. And although we try to help them through you know giving advices, it's not always. Um, I don't know. It's within their selves na kasi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about you, Liza? For me, um, prove them wrong. Correct. Oh. Deserve. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, like, it's a nice answer. Nano just siya sa phrase, yun nga, um, prove them wrong. Kaya ng, um, show to them nga, you can do it. Although you are a woman, like, Pahira kang mom, di ba? Engineer siya. When, when you say nga ka ng engineers mostly, you can think of engineers nga, lalaki. Mm -hmm. Sa ako po nyo part, mostly yun, mga baristas are boys also. Yeah, yes. In which, I, um, sa ako apong ano, sa ako ang post kay nag-celebrate mo po ang 1225 o ano, nag-celebrate ang 1225 o um, Women's Month also, ginaspecify po na ako sa mong post kay naman may promo today mm. sa, in regarding sa Women's Month nga um, celebration. So, sa na siya promo? Oh, kanang mm. siya nga so, promo. Ka ka <laughs> Libre ang tanan. Libre ang tanan. Pili, naka-ano lang, naka-less naka lang siya. Ang among best-selling ay Spanish Latin uh, large kay 100 na lang siya in which nearer siya sa size sa small. Mm. So, mo na siya amo ang 3-day promo from starting today until so, in regards to that post, ako yung gispecify ang we women's could be baristas too. So, kana improve sila wrong. Kana also you could do this. Also you could make coffee. Also you could be an engineer. Also you could play basketball. So, improve ni mo sila ng kana. Of course, siguro na amang yun po yung time ng nidaog si ma'am, nidaog si ma'am Angela, de ba? So, ni abut po sa point po sa ako ng a kanang ginashow po na ako sa people nga ako naghim o coffee like ang among counter table man sa Gomez Street kaya kanang grabe ka grabe ka showy like when you go and buy you could see how I make it before I give it to you so kana kanang ma maano po ang tao ganing hala ikaw maghimo ma'am labi na nga ako nag open ako nag plaster ako pag himo himo so kana ginashow po na ako mga kaya na ako makaya po na ninyo yeah, Women's History Month. We've come a long way, ma'am. Mm. To before we weren't able to access education. We were, we were like seen right? as a certain way. Mm. We, oh, me. we didn't have pockets. Men lang ang mag work. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so now, ma'am, we've come a really long way, and we have people who are setting an example, <clears throat> diba? Mm -hmm. So we have a last, we have a last question from our uh, viewers here today, and it's from Angelic Bringas. Malig Malagenio. Malagenio. I can't see well. Ako po. I can't read so, clearly. She is asking, have you faced any barriers in your career due to being a woman? What makes you a strong woman? So in your career, so in hung, who you are today, what did what challenges did you face? Oh, like as a woman, hello, we but hindi na ko ni kaya because yeah. na, na, na. Was there a time na you experienced that one? Yeah, so, who would like to answer first? Ah, we're like oral recipients. Who would like to volunteer? Oh, how about we ask Mrs. Sarma yes. for her, her <coughs> uh, no, answer on this question first? Barriers in yes. your career. Okay, so as long as you set your priorities, Mangod, so dagan jug kay struggles, labo na magsabay sabay tanan. Yeah. So, this one ibalance. Eh. So, mm -hmm. Tagiingon kaganiha nga. If you know your why, so you should you can priority prioritize better, and you can set things into perspective. So, mo na siya kung magsabay sabay asa man imong unahon. So kung wala ka kasabot sa imong hangi pang buhat, if wala ka is dili ka well decided why you're doing that. So, mabuang jud ka mas stress jud ka taman sa taman. So, mo na siya. So, 
if you have you faced any barriers so for now makulbaan ko if i have travel manggod tapos masakit ako mga anak so mm. like if especially okay naman karon kay na may mga online class sa high so tomorrow we will travel ko tomorrow so what if simba ko lang na napugoy isa ka anak na nasakit tapos mo i need to travel because i have seminar so usa ko na ko na siya pag alaga mo na siya y- mga struggle. So, lisod po, i-postpone ang seminar nga one month, mm-hmm. i-prepare. So, no. mm, so lisod po, ba nun akong anak? So, muna siya ang, ang struggle anak nga part. So, dira na mo, musulod ang support sa mo family. So, mm-hmm. you need a good support system. Aside from, aside from what Ma'am Daiza told us, nga, prayers work. So, mm-hmm. aside from that, we need a good support system. So, from my husband, from my own family. So, kinahanan po nato na siya sila ang backup mm-hmm. kung everything feeling nato struggle na ang all have you ano po ma'am like if it career wise have you ever found yourself in a situation wherein like pero tawag gi judge ka or like gi gi look down ka for being a woman in your career like i'm an engineer and i'm also a woman and i'm a mother have you ever like found yourself in a situation na gina judge ka by people or wala siya wala na, na siya karon sa una kanang tong student pata bago pata na engineer so dira dira ang mga judgment mo sing mamanulod mm-hmm. so because eh, tong yun kung ma-prove na nimo that they're wrong so di na ka ma-judge right mm-hmm. yeah so how about ano miss Diza miss Diza Diza <laughs> <laughs> um for me my um the barriers that i have faced being a woman is kanang gina doubt ko sa capability that i could do Mm-hmm. So, kana kana gina negative si gina ko an ba kana ah sa so good ra na like that kay of course kana I started good small so mm-hmm. di ba if others would start small siguro taman three months lang nga namalikya mm-hmm. tama na kay kana ma ma discourage si dayon unya ang uban gani kay pag ma discourage undang dayon mereka anak ba because they do not have that courage to push through so kana siya gina doubt ko Um, pero although that um, besides being doubted na by people or na ganin mismo ka ng family within the family pod gina doubt ka kanang gina doubt kay ko sa akong family nga kaya ba nako akong self at this age muuli para mo start ani murag anak gani so of course i'm still in my 23s 24s like that so ni uli ko para lang ana unya ako ra isa ako whole family good na sa Davao and then so gina doubt ko nila ba nga babae good ka unya ikaw ra mo abri ani like, ikaw you know, ra mo yeah. start ani ikaw pa mo advertise ikaw mo ano although di ba i said i have partner partner with this pero lagi kanang schooling pa mo good akong partner and then in line jud sa food so puhon magka food pud mi mahuman siya school so kana na ako nga partner and then um that Part- partner in life. So, so 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 partner. <laughs> yeah, partner in life. So that mm. is um that is the one that made me strong. Kanang kato akong ginaingon kanina nga, gi-prove nako sila wrong in which nakita nila karon kanang mm. nakaya nako. Na Then isa pud to ka help tong nakadaog gani ko sa SK Federation nga kanang nakita nila nga hala kanang Um, nakagunit na ko kaya ni ka, kanang cash prize ba ito siya nakagunit na ko ani just because gi ko ana ko kanang I single handedly um, pitch 1225 and then ako ang napili so mas na naging strong gani ko sa sa kanang mga praises karon although before wala pa jud na mga praises wala kay lagi kanang karon na na mundang mm. na ana gani gina positive lang yun na ako ang akong mind and then slowly ni support nagid po ng family mm. and then hinay hinay of course nakita naman ng murag grabe na kay ka known o heard sa crowd ang 1225 ni sulod na po nga kanang naga support na po ang friends mm. Mm. well that's that's nice she's very committed and dedicated yeah. ana lang ana lang no stopping yeah kay it's ano. for her man din yeah. like it's her goal and dream and noon so si miss angela naman Like, what challenges did you face? Siguro challenges during the pageant, um, pageant lang when I entered. Because um, some people would say my height is not enough, and mm-hmm. then besides that, there are um, those uh, those times there are people who did not believe in me. 
So, um, I have, you know, you know, if mag-join kag patches, diba, pretty mag mo hang mga competitors. So, like, um, I experienced nga ginaingnan bitaw ko sa um, some of my friends before. I think, about the friends, but... <laughs> Pero, like, they tell me na, na mas guwapa man si Kwan sa imu, ha? Mas Kwan man. So, syempre, as, um, kuan, me, um, imbes gina-encourage na to ang women, you know, mm -hmm. um, i-encourage ang atong kaugalingon, more na-down ko because mm -hmm. of that. And then, one of my instruct, um, one of my teachers, si Sir Eman, siya, <laughs> isa siya sa nag, ano sa ako, nag-support sa ako ato before. So, isa na siya sa akong barriers or mga struggles during that time, kanang side comments bitaw sa other mm -hmm. people. But then, I pushed through because some, some also believed in me. Mm -hmm. So, because of that, Kana bitang, um, I made through it. So, na kadaog ko as matiyong libertad at to then, it was really a, uh, um, something worth remembering bitaw ka. It was my first pageant and it was also, um, very, you know, struggle to na year kay, I don't know where I belong, ganun. There, there are a lot of struggles that time. So, that made me strong. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's what I am right now because of that experience. Amazing. All right, thank you so much for all your answers, and it's been an honor. Um, it's worth the while yes. to be talking here with you, pretty ladies. And um, indeed, this has been a memorable episode of On the Sunny Side. And um, before we close before we conclude this episode we would like to thank our viewers of course for engaging for commenting for asking questions and for sharing information about you guys about who you see as empowered and why these persons you uh, and why these persons are empowered according to you guys also i would like to um thank the stratcom office bareheaded by mom suzette and um, this episode was brought to you by the SEO SHS Morelos interns. So we have Erica Sanchez, Clyde um, Castilla, and Sam Areglo. No, they are they are senior high students from um, FSU Morelos. So ayan, yes. very proud of you guys. Good job. Yeah, they did Faith. really well. Yeah. And for the efforts of these people who really commented and engaged with our episode today, congratulations to our winners, Adrian Ansuyon, Sean Avila, Atazan, Therese Wilkoy, yeah. and then Benjamil, Benjamil, Rotikas, and Angelique Pringas. Managenyo. Managenyo. So please send the Facebook page a private message with your GCash number and you should receive it shortly. So thank you so much once again to all our viewers who stayed tuned with today's episode and thank you so much for your participation and engagement. Also, there is um, an announcement.
future. Yes, they have a promo starting today, you yes. guys. So make sure to check it out and, you know, give it a try. Okay, if you, if you have any final shout outs or if you have someone to thank, yes. you may do so. so Just, you know. Okay, our guests. Ma'am, oh, Ma'am Saima. <laughs> Okay, so thank you to my BN Builders family. So sila tong mga daghan kayog mga pangutan nga gani ha. So nanguan nangunay just sila. So nakadaog si Ate Madel si Benji. So so thank you for being with us also today. Okay, Angela. Thank you to thank you to the Sunnyside team for inviting me today and thank you I thank you to my family who's watching and then Malanta, thank you everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Hi family. Hi family. Miss <laughs> <laughs> um, Liza. Okay, um, thank you to um, the opportunity for me to speak here. So it was really uh, appreciated. And then I thank my family also, my mom in Davao for watching and my friends also. Yes. How about you, ma'am? Ako. Thank you to myself for being here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thank you so much, um, ano, so, ano, SEO, sorry. Thank you, SEO, for having me here with Faye as your hosts for this um, special episode of On the Sunny Side. No? Yes. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. I myself would like to thank Ma'am for joining me here today and as well as our You're three welcome. beautiful <laughs> guests. Thank you so much to FSUU for the opportunity given to us here as we try to empower our fellow women as well. So as we are celebrating Women's History Month, remember to value yourself and continue to grow and become the best version of who you are today. Um, remember that femininity is a social construct that has been defined and redefined by ideological discourses over time and from culture to culture, past, present, and future. So? So? Once again, this has been Faye Marie Theralba. And this is Janine Fabe. And you are watching On the Sunny Side. Bye! Thank you so much! <laughs>